Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for another semi-final? Should we get going? Are you ready? Let's get the players on court. It's another clash between Switzerland and France. So without further ado, please raise the roof for Switzerland's Dimitri Steinmann. And his opponent, he's the number one seed in this competition from France, Victor Cruen. And your referee for this match from Spain, give it up for Pablo Del Rio. Half time. I'm
they will start in 30 seconds. seconds European Individual Championship 2023 men's semi-final Victor Crown of France to serve Dimitri Steyman of Switzerland to receive okay Adrian best of five games here we go last match of the Love day all. we're looking for one more finalist well, we already have one finalist from France, surprisingly. Let's see if Victor Kuan can deliver. And out, from one love. Steinman at Switzerland now. We've just seen Nicky Muller be defeated, and now is the last Swiss standing. Might be a birthday present for Nicky from uh, Dimitri if he wins now, this match. Yeah. Because if he loses, they now, have to one play all. each other tomorrow. So, yeah. Mm. So well, yeah. They want to play your mate in a bronze medal match. Yeah, but it's, it could be the, you know, the passing of the guard, as they say, as, you know, Nicky Miller has not finished his career by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly in the autumn of his career. And Steinman is the up-and-coming player. Um, similar ranking to the player that we just saw, 25 in the world. Yep, been uh, 24 uh, and he's 26. Not clearing. So he's a uh, year younger Not clearing. than uh, Dussard. Mm -hmm. Eight years younger than Nick Miller. 2-1. And two years older than Victor Kwan, who's just 24 years of age. And already a top 10 player in the world, top 8 yeah. player in the world. Uh, but you could tell that he was going places, you know, uh, as soon as he was a very young junior. Sure. But it really, really did rise from the sort of uh, and now the, mid, the mid numbers up into that top ten pretty, pretty fast, didn't he? Yeah. I think he's quite popular in Poland uh, because one of his uh, European Junior Championships uh, was uh, won in Bielsko Biała. He has two to his name. Yeah. 2017 in Portugal and 2018 in Poland. These two have actually He's played. To run. Okay. No, not clearing. And now three two. Let's continue. It's very clear. We have our first <laughs> opening of the doors. The ball. The ball. <laughs> Goes, goes near the center and you're not clearing. The ball goes to the center and you're not clearing. And now 3 2. Yeah, that was a, I think a poor shot. Yeah. A bit late with the clearance. Anyway, as I was saying, they played each other in June in Elguna. It took 80 minutes. Uh, 2 1 1, 3 1. Most of the games were uh, 14, 12, 11, 9, that sort of thing. Okay, so shall I cancel the Uber then? Yeah, definitely. Could be here a while. I think we might just stay here till tomorrow, from finals day. <laughs> uh, we start at uh, 12. Tomorrow, obviously. Yep. Also on the glass court. Uh, there's just uh, one question remaining. Who'll be on it? Yeah. Of course, Ritz was in the final last year, lost to Nicky Muller in three. Well, he won't be playing him if he gets through this time. And we'll have to dispatch a fellow countryman if he's going to go one better this time around. But the business of the semi final before all of that. Stroke to Steinman. Yeah, Stroke to Steinman. And out to Rio. 
and just trying to dispatch it away in the front corner, but it banks on the way back to the tee in the end. Down. After all that work, out. gives away a cheap Four, three. point. Got to the drop, but just set up the next shot for Curran there. Wow. Shut up. Great shot. I was just uh, watching Curran's movement because this is, you know, the very well known French school of moving around the court and he it just looks so effortless, so soft on his feet. Also, the racket preparation. Of the Ooh. Ooh. A little bit of contact, I think uh -huh. it's okay. No malice in might that. Need might need cold service here, I think. From the left. Cold service, please. Another junior from the Hasta La Vista Club. It's okay, thank you. It's also a great opportunity for those uh, young players from the Hasta La Vista Club to be so up close and personal with, uh, well, players from the top 10, top 20 in the world. The ripple of applause there. Good job well done. So, that's 5-3. 5-3. Oh, the ball might have gone a bit colder after that break. Probably that, that's why Steinmann was looking for the quick finish. Down. Yeah. And out, 4-5. Same from Kluan now. Oh, that's Down. a loose spot. He gets away with it. Five hole. Just making sure it it works. Just didn't that time. Dr. Seyman. Yeah. Curran trying to lift it to the back of the court, but it wasn't Six, the five. best attempt of a lob that he'll have played in his career. That was better. Chop that one away. I've got to say, the tempo of this one is uh, quite a few and out, notches six down on the dial compared to what we just saw with uh, Muller and Sword. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not an easy match to follow up in terms of uh, tempo. Out. Thank you. But I think it's also a trait that uh, I relate to French Seven, players, that six. they're uh, pretty much all-rounders. So Kuan can play ball, he can play you know, slower, Seven, high shots. Six. But he also uh, can generate power. No, not enough. Not enough. Not enough contact, I guess. 
on the racket. Uh, it didn't affect the shot, I think. Not sufficient. No, 8-6. Discussion between the players about how much contact there was with that racket. And now, if you look briefly, close, yeah, yeah, we look yeah. Big, briefly see the taping, the taping, and the it's not just the torso, the, the whole stomach. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, the, doesn't feel appropriate to Thank ask you. about it though in, a, in an interview. But um, nine six. I don't know enough about how that tape works to understand what that's meant to be doing. I'll find out. I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. I'm just uh, no. I'm curious because I'm thinking I could use it to take down my belly so it doesn't get in the way. But I don't think that's how it's meant to be used. Anyway, back to the proper action. I really like Kwan's uh, racket preparation, the backhand. You know, something you can show on photos to people learning to play squash. Yeah. Just that early preparation. Down. That's how we used to play in the old days, mate. Set the racket up all the time. And out. Because it was seven, made of wood nine. and it was heavy. Oh, oh yeah. So the speed of getting it. Yeah. Not like the kids. Seven, nine. Kids nowadays, right? No. With their uh, <laughs> light racket. And no, it's it's uh, different different equipment now. The principles of the game haven't changed at all. But so uh, for our younger viewers, how much would a wooden racket weigh? Oh, I don't know, but 10, 7, about 180 all I, grams. All, all I know is that if you ever got hit on the head with one, that you know it, it could end the actual game because it was okay. pretty pretty solid. And this is where the, the you know the let rule is there for because obviously. Before these super lightweight rackets, you, were, um, it, it, you got hit by a racket, particularly around the head. Did some damage. Really, yeah. really serious. Yeah, big lump on the head, and yeah, I've seen back in the Down. day many game ended. 11-7, game Kwan, Kwan leads, Kwan game to love. And there it is, first game. Victor Kuren. Betart od ponad 30 lat produkujemy prefabrykaty betonowe dla wszystkich typów budownictwa. Wspieramy największe realizacje w kraju. Dbamy o to, by Twoja inwestycja miała solidną konstrukcję. Betart. Mocny partner w budownictwie. They will resume in 60 seconds. One lead, one game to love. Low ball. And we're back. Uh Convincing win in the first game by Victor Crown. Let's see if uh, Steinman can start turning things around. We didn't do predictions for this one, did we? Uh, we did not. 
but since uh, I think I'm 2 0 up in predictions, we don't need to. <laughs> yeah, it's, a be it's a best of five, so. Uh, you, tomorrow as well, you, right? you, so You'll get your chance well tomorrow. Yeah. Well, at the moment, Kieran looking pretty comfortable. It's a great shot. It's a little bit too much weight on it, but given where he had to play it from and in what circumstances, it was superb. That was a great drive. Just soaking everything up. Steinman's already up the tempo early on here. Finally, I think it was the third or fourth opportunity. Yeah. And now, one all. I'm sure we've had some useful words from Nicky Muller. Well, obviously, Muller beating Kroan last year in the final, 3 0, so he knows how to play against him. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. I think it's fair to say that in one Kruan. year. Kuan's much more of a finished article than he would have been yeah. a year ago. Yeah. Stroke to Kuan. Yeah. Stroke, stroke to Kuan. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty bad ball, actually. Yeah, but I think Kuan was so surprised that the ball went, you know, straight down the middle that yeah. he kind of went yeah, the I other mean, way. The height, the height of it was impressive, but and where, where it was on the court, straight down the middle. talked about the tempo not being as crazy as in the previous match but I think it's by design and it's uh, controlled and regulated by Kuan. I think this suits him better and doesn't really let Steinman play his game as much. That's better. Throw to Kuan. You're taking too much space. It's too, it's too excessive. You should see the faces in You're the crowd. You're taking crowds. too much space. You need to leave him aligned to the ball. No. Yeah, just watching the back of the replay. Three, two. I've really given my explanation. He, took, he took his space, but he was, I think, entitled to that. He was right on the team. I have absolutely no idea how that can be a stroke. First of all, the ball was behind Three, him. Uh, secondly, there was a line to the ball. We'll replay it a couple of times just to see if we can work out what the referee is thinking there. Straightforward, yes, let to me, but well, that's the decision. It's been made. Yeah, but there was uh, a lot of pro pro players in the stands, and they were as astonished uh, as we were. Oh, I think. I, yeah, I really have no idea. There is the sometimes this disconnect, uh, I think, between how the players and the refs see the game. I think less and less, obviously. Yeah. But it still happens, unfortunately. Great line from Kuan. I just wonder, the, uh, Four, two. the referees playing, uh, the, the, the refereeing on the glass court are being assessed. I mean, Pablo Del Rio has sitting next to him, the great John Mazzarella, scribbling away on a pad. I'm not entirely sure that's very helpful in a big match like this uh, to have someone yeah. there. You might want to do too much sometimes yeah. to show you're in control. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not ask up, the referees about you. that later. But anyway. And out three, yeah, I four. think for an assessment to kind of count, you need uh, a number of decisions and to reach a number of decisions. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not saying that the referees, you know, are giving decisions just to reach that number. Yeah, but the this is the manufacturing. The, uh, yeah, it is a possibility. Yeah, you know, maybe. 
Anyway, as we said many times, take the referee out of the equation. Now uh, late. Interesting, yeah, but I think he was late. And out, 5-3. It's also how fast Kuan is back, back to the T. Yeah. Down. But I mean, if... 6-3. You're the next big big thing after Thierry Linku, Gregory Gauthier and you can't you, you have to be a great mover on the court. Right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, yeah, in one respect, it's an amazing legacy to be part of, but there's a big shoes to fill. No. Mm, not sure about that one. A bit of luck there. Well, referee stays silent, so clearly he's happy. It's an interesting shot. I think Simon used the, the, I, I the end of his good. racket to poke Sorry. that drop in, didn't he? Oh, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about the strings. I think he just it poked it off the, uh, and out off the frame. The frame yeah. yeah. Well, he paid for the whole racket and he's he used all of it. right off the end of the racket that I had an interesting situation the other day when uh, a ball was hit by a player with their racket and the racket in their hand but essentially off the fingers on the racket and is that Down. a legal shot five six it's a great question which you should ask uh, well I don't know John Mazarell I'm going to later today I don't just remember it actually we played a let in the uh, in the match in question because we weren't sure, but um, and it was actually the, 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 the player that did it was very fair because no one could see that. But it, it was it sort of he felt like he played it with his hand, but obviously his hand was on his racket grip. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> yes, that five six. Yeah, and this one is uh, still close. Yeah, just one point in between them. As we saw in the first one, it was it was sort of close up to this point, and then Victor sort of cruised away towards the end. Good whiff, good whiff. Clears on that one. Good recovery from Steinman there. It's a really uncomfortable movement. Picking up that short ball. have gotten it. It's a long rally. Yeah, it continues. Simon just rookie. can't play you know the winning shot. Yes yes let yes let and Kuan <laughs> is just <laughs> going to get away with that. <laughs> so soft is five six put, put, put his hands in the air trying to make himself as small as possible. <laughs> wow there's a lot of hard work done by both players in that rally and it ends up with a yes let and they have to go again your movement was excessive he would have reached that ball no no you need to let him go to the ball uh, there please was a continue bit of five contact. six just replaying it now oh, for okay. us but yeah, i think yes let absolutely correct on that one yeah I mean, I don't have a problem with the decision. I just actually not entirely dissimilar to the one where you got a stroke. There was a stroke yeah. <laughs> in the beginning. Exactly. <laughs> I'd like to see those side by side uh, and compare yeah. and see. Might be a good one for a refereeing course to put those two together. I mean, to be honest, in the first one uh, there was a bit more interference, a lot of more interference, but yeah. Yeah. Now, great hold. It's certainly in the same part of the court, so it could be interesting. 
Crowd appreciating that one. Six all. I just saw the crowd at Casta La Vista, as I said. We, we, we like underdogs here and uh, long matches, so we wouldn't like this one to end with just three games. Yeah. Out. Yep. And out, 7-6. Yeah, that was a uh, perfect drop shot from Kwan. 8-6. Left. I think it might be true for uh, all top players, but it's uh, similar to what we've seen with Nelly Hillis before. Just controlling the match, you know. And then at this stage, Kwan just starts doing more. To Kwan. Well, didn't help him get out of the way, but nine six. That's almost a repeat of the first game, isn't it? In the respect of how the score has gone. Well, this is the business end, and Kwan taking care of business. Well, still needs two points. Yep. <laughs> I never tire of the, the quick, irony please. that some rallies can go on yeah, for yeah, two okay. minutes and end in no point being right. won by any player and that's then others. Loud 7 9. We have another instance of uh, Tailgate. I think in our uh, ranking of top players of the tournament, the towels have to be you know, up there. <laughs> top 5, <laughs> at least. Well, maybe maybe in the future there'll be a thing in the coaching manuals called towel strategy. When to use the towel. And I joke that, you know, obviously play should be continuous in squash, but the time taken between points is a... Wow. No, I don't think he's going to get a let for that. Mm, yeah. The referee. No. I think he's gonna co confirm it. No late. Yeah. Sorry. I, I saw something where you, we, we're gonna play a lead. Lead <laughs> ball. He changed his mind. I thought he said no. That. Yeah, he said yeah. he changed his Did mind. Did yeah. change his mind? That was weird. We're, we're playing a lead. I think in those moments we should pan uh, to, to the crowd because you at home can't see the reactions. You, you, you're not entitled to. 7-9. Well, I don't think the alert is fair because the ball did. But I mean, 7-9. Steinman's reaction was superb, I, I, but. I really don't know what's going on in this game <laughs> at all. I mean, I, I've been complimenting the referees all week because I think it's been really solid, but today there's some weird stuff going on. Maybe it's something in the water, but anyway. Might be tired, it's, uh, you know, a day of match play. Down. But see, he does all that and then... And now 10-7, game ball. So gives it away. Far too easily. Three game balls. Down. Thank you. 11 7, game Kwan. That's it for the two, second game. Victor Kwan doubles his lead.
Betart od ponad 30 lat produkujemy prefabrykaty betonowe dla wszystkich typów budownictwa. Wspieramy największe realizacje w kraju. Dbamy o to, by Twoja inwestycja miała solidną konstrukcję. Betart. Mocny partner w budownictwie. They will resume in 60 seconds. Juan leads two games to love. Lobo. Yes, Ed. So. Lobo. So, one last chance for Dimitri Steinman to, well, get something going. Yeah. Beyond so. the six all. Pace of, yeah, of the game. Sort of been matching Down. things up to there, but he's got Run a new off. shirt on. Not sure that that's going to matter too much, but sometimes it's the small things. Oh, the referee. We'll see uh, if uh, he plays a part in this game as well. No, even oh, if you don't agree. That's a great about Curran. With some of the decisions. Oh, beautiful. Strokes it into the neck. And the crowd appreciating that one. As you say, really trying to get behind Steinman now. I'd like to see this match extended beyond the three, I'm sure. Yeah, but Kuan is just not doing anything wrong. That's the problem. It's not helping. Not giving him anything for free. Not really. Well, that stayed in for sure. Nice drive. It's gonna be a chance, but yeah, you have to do something more with yes, that. One-all. It's not in a variety, I think, in Steinman's attacking to Arsenal. Mm. If he's not that he's shown in this match. I was just looking at that previous decision of no let. I just, I'm sorry, I don't agree. There's, you know, there's nothing special about the ball Curran played. Steinman tried to go through and to get to it. Stopped and before there was any one. harm done. Anyway. Yeah, but luckily, you know, those decisions aren't, uh, don't have that much of an impact on the overall well, scoreline in this I match. I think they have an impact on the player psychology because oh. now... And this is a good example, you know, Steinman's yes, getting no lets. So he's trying to do more. And then he's trying to do more. And now, yeah. potentially, if you think about the massive tournament that's coming up, and imagine if that, has, you know, caused the yeah. injury to his opponent. That, that's mean, why, and that's why the rule is there. The rule is there so people don't get hurt. And, I, and I'm a big fan of no lets when effort is not being made, but you, you've got to got to be sensible. I think maybe you should uh, take a walk to the Two referee's one. room uh, after today's matches, just have a little if, conversation. If, if I thought they cared what I think, I probably would, but let's be honest. They don't. 
Now let's Down. just let now them I'm my here. do that. I, yeah. I call it as I see. And now twelve. And uh, people that are watching can make their own decisions on whether I'm right or wrong, or whether they agree with the referee. Right into Hasta La Vista. Dziewicz, uh, Kowalska, Kroswav, Poland. Out. Address your mail to Adrian Fulnacek. And out, 3-2. And uh, Adrian will pass on your comments to me. Yeah, uh, uh, well, it's probably the still the largest uh, squash club in the world. So if you want to come here uh, in person, uh, we'll be happy to have you. All right, the crowd really getting behind Steinman now. And now 3 all. Three. A bit of prolonged applause for the Swiss player. Yeah. That was a good rally for him. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, top draw. He nods his head. He knows that that is a world class shot. 5 3. This guy goes straight into the shots of the tournament. Yeah, absolutely. I've not seen much better than that this week. Cut up. And out, 4-5. Looks even better on the replay. <laughs> Down. Yeah. Trying to drop there. Not quite making the wall. And 6-4. Now Steinman got a couple of point leads, got a couple of points in the lead here. But as we've seen in the first two, getting beyond this six points. Yeah, but he seems in the zone right now. And that will be a Steinman throughout. Yeah. Okay. So is the tide about to turn in this match? Seven four. Feels to me like Stanman's stepped up the pace again. A bit more reward the faster the rally. Yeah, and the pace has gone up. Uh, which is a run out right winner there, but. Doesn't quite hit the target. Rally continues. Beautiful drop from Curran. Simon picks it up. He's in trouble. No. He's back in control at the tee. Curran. Oh, it's tight. A great lob. Nothing much more Simon could do with that. Yeah, but still, it's very that. smart. It's a great rally. And the counter drops going in. Oh wow, this is just blistering. And then the players reset. Lucky. Nearly catches the nick at the back there from Kuro, and it's a great drop. Absolutely wonderful rally, these two players. Yeah, but do it quicker, please. Mr. Seyman, do it quicker, please. Yeah, I'm getting a bit bored of the tailgate thing, to be honest. I mean, you know. About 5-7. I've just seen a massive long rally. 5-7. If they don't have time to towel off, more water goes on the court, which means more stoppages. I think it just needs to be sensible. It's becoming a bigger rule than the let. The towel. No let. No let. <laughs> I think the, the line is behind. The line is behind. 
No, the ball was right behind. Adrian, what's going on? I have no idea. I thought he said no let, and now he's saying play a let. Now 8-5. No, 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 it's definitely it's, no let. It's no let? Yeah. Just, is it the right decision? That's... Uh, I'll play you the replay. It's just the straightforward yes let for me. It's, he's in the line. The ball from Steinman's okay. It's not tight on the wall. Uh, once again. Sorry, not for me. Anyway, play continues. Oh. Testing times for the Frenchman. It's a lovely drop, but Steinman not only gets it, but he's a good testing long ball. And he's there. Ooh, what a can slide. he recover? Oh, that's clever. That is clever. Super clever. Of all the About shots he could six, play, I think eight. that was the only one that would win the point on that shot. Good choice. Smart. Go service, please. And there's my point, OK? Yeah. So now they need court service yeah. because there's sweat on the court. So maybe if the player is allowed to use the towel properly, it prevents that. I mean, otherwise, well, what's the, I don't understand. What's the point? Getting annoyed by the towel thing now. Shouldn't be part of the game. The towel isn't real, Mark. Just uh, <laughs> it was only introduced because of the uh, the pandemic, wasn't it? And they were like, "Oh, you know." Uh, kind of st stayed with us, yeah. And it stayed with us, which I don't okay, think having a towel you. on court is a bad idea because it stops the players having to come off. Or, but you know, I think we need to just chill out on the towel thing. If players need to, yeah, but we can have in the box spare shirts, and they can just keep swapping to a dry shirt. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, a nice uh, break from Steinman. Yeah. And he's still two points ahead. Yeah. He's got to really nail home his advantage here. Not let Kruan back in this set. No, right now, Kruan isn't letting him back into the tee at all. It's Pressure shot. Yeah. every shot. It's going to be trouble. Yeah. That was well played by Kruen. Patient. 7-8. Okay, bit by bit, Kruen chipping away. The Swiss players lead. Yeah, but it's... Uh, it's going to see the repeat again. Yeah. The midpoint of the game. Gets to the business end and then... Well, I think we are. That was great to see Kwan responding. Eight you know, being 8 5 down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Certainly looks that way. Anyway, this time I'm going to write another chapter in this story. Or is it going to be a repeat? Down. And then the unforced error. Yeah, helping right the D and Nine eight. Nine eight. I think this is the fourth point in a row for Kwan. Well, great response. Straight to the nick. And out. Nine oh. Kwan needs to think more about his serve. The next time he gets a chance to do it, will he in this game? Massive points now. The target there from Kern at the back. And it's Kern now, it's up in the place. I think he senses the importance of the moment. Steinman is in all sorts of trouble here. Uh, doesn't want to give oh, up. That's absolutely world class. Hear the strings as he chopped that. 
Yeah, the Swiss player, you know, doing splits, but now even that isn't nine, enough. Match ball. Manufactured the point there in that rally brilliantly, Curran. Just relentless pressure and then quickly. See how quickly he played that drop? That's the technique. But it's also how he mixes, you know, uh, the balls to the back, the balls to the front. Yeah. First gives his opponent a chance to, you know, do some sprints, some court sprints, and then just finishes it off. Well, match ball. 10 9 match ball. Last chance cafe for Dimitri Steinman. Good lob. And it's going to be a show to stay man. Yeah. So the match still in the balance. And out. Call service. This is the first time the Kuan asked uh, for the court to be. Call yeah. service, please. Wiped. Yeah. Well, an important moment in the match for both players. No complaints from Steinman to get that court sorted. Well, a chance to regroup, but also, you know, you need to hold your concentration for a bit longer. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if Kuan could go for something Penal. off the serve. The player must win by two points. Especially now after this break. I don't think he's that type of player. I think he's just going to play the percentage ball, look for the volley. And that's what Steinman might be, might be thinking, but you know. Maybe. Let's see. We're about to find out. Uh, the serve was too good. Well, you it weren't was expecting him to miss the ball completely. <laughs> Nobody predicted that one. Yeah, the serve oh was just God. too good. Just too good. It looks like the universe was listening, 11, isn't it? Game ball. Hey, watch this. Hold my beer. <laughs> so, Steinman. He's got his first game ball in this match. Uh, not for long, I think. Can he convert it? Oh, that's a chance. Good. Yeah. There was some contact, but and that's loose. The current can't put that one away as he did previously. And Steinman uh, has to struggling here. Stop, 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 stop. Stroke from front. You have a, you have a conduct stroke. I warn you, you are using excessive swing. And you are using too much space. You're not letting me, him go to the ball and clear. I think he said that Steinman is... And it's out, uh, 11 about an excessive swing. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, it's. Uh, it was far away from Kwan's head. I think Kwan maybe raised his hand. Yeah. If you just re rewind on the backhand, there's a ball pretty much in the middle. 11 all. Um, it is a wild swing. But I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen someone stopping the rally. Uh, no, me neither. I, I'm, I'm, like that. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of stuff in this game that has got me wondering if I know the rules anymore. But there we go. Anyway. So what's the score now? It's 11-0? Yeah. yeah. Coming to terms with what, what happened. No, yeah, let's, <laughs> what, what happened there? Well, Steinman looking for that winner. Current tries to put in. The drop, the rally continues down the forehand wall. Nice. Long drop from Steinman. I've got to say, he's going for it. That's that's an excessive swing there, for sure. He's now. done it again. And now... 12-11, match ball. He's gifted Curran match ball. And yeah, I think he's mentally kind of out of it. Yeah. Because that was a, well, cheap point. Well... Hard to blame him after that decision. Yeah, I, well. Either way, match ball. It is. Is it going to be an all French final? Another uh, all Swiss uh, bronze medal match? Oh, 
and can't afford any mistakes, but it's not stopping him having a go. And who can blame him? Go out with a bang, not a whimper. Long drop from current. And this might be it. And that sails oh, out. It. And it's Victor Curran. Matt Curran beats Andrew Steinman. He goes through to tomorrow's final. 13, yeah, that's uh, all we had in store for today. We'll see you tomorrow from finals day at 12. The commentators were Mark Berenger and Adrian Polnecek. Thank you very much. Victor Curran. Congratulations, you're in another final. Well done. Wasn't easy, but it seemed that up until that last game, you were just neck and neck, and at the end, you were just pushing through and getting the, uh, getting the win. You must be delighted to be in another final. I am. Um, last year, we played in the quarterfinal, and I was leading to love as well, and he came back to two all, and I finished in, in five games. But yeah, it's 8 p.m., and I didn't want that to happen again. Um, so I was trying to focus on on the rallies one one at a time and uh, yeah, got a little sweaty and scrappy around the end of that game. But I'm happy I closed the alley and stayed calm and and yeah, it's a it's a good win and looking forward to playing tomorrow again. Absolutely, you seem to have a history of quite long long matches. I mean that one's gone over. That's about an hour. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm sure you were pleased not to not to go one more at least there. Um, I'd like to ask you a, a slightly different question before we talk about the final about the obviously the towels being on court is quite a new thing which is great to have the towels on court but the time taken we were having the discussion about if you were given time to towel properly there'd be less sweat on the court uh, and less stoppages what how do you feel about the the towel thing I mean there are rules in place and, and there's been new rules uh, being put in place uh, for the towels and I mean one of the most basic one is when you finish a rally in the front of the court, you just go for the towel and wipe your hands, and and so you don't waste time, and you just like you just uh, you just dry your hand and get back to the service box for the next rally. Uh, and I feel like most of the time we use the towel after a long rally, especially when we lost it, just to to stop the momentum. Uh, so I think it's just common sense, like when to go and, and, and when not to go and, and just to, to, to keep going. Um, but yeah, the referees are here to, to make sure we don't abuse it. Um, I don't think it would make uh, more sense to use the towels more often. I think it just gets sweaty because we just run all around the pool. And I mean, Dimitri was doing some really deep lunges and, and so going very down and on the floor and that's when the sweat uh, drop. Um, so I don't think there's much to do about it uh, except to maybe have more, 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 more people uh, uh, just making sure the the core is uh, is dry in between games. Yeah. No, because it is important. Obviously, the, you know the safety. If you know you get an injury based on the court not being in good condition, but no, it's interesting to hear your your input on that because it has become part of the game, and we've been talking about it in the commentary. But let's, let's, let's move on from Towgate, as we're calling it. The final tomorrow, all French. Uh, you must be super excited to that. Uh, tell me about your thoughts on your opponent for tomorrow and how you're going to go about that match. Yeah, I mean, we're sharing the, the room, uh, all, all three French players together this week. So uh, it's been very friendly uh, this week and all year round. We, we spent a lot of time together. Uh, throughout uh, our junior career and now on the Fiesta Tour. It's good to have two French players in the final. We'll have gold and silver. Uh, obviously, I'd rather get the gold, but yeah, it's going to be a, a tough encounter. He showed some good strength today, so um, I'll be analyzing this uh, right, right next to him and uh, <laughs> in, the, in the hotel room. But yeah, no, it's, it's going to be a good match and I'm looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it as well. Congratulations, Victor Corrine.